Automation Anywhere is one of the leading robotic process automation platforms. Automation Anywhere is built on the world's most commonly used automation and artificial intelligence platform. Hey everyone, I welcome you all to this session. In this session, we will learn about Automation Anywhere tutorial. Let's look at today's agenda. We shall begin with understanding what is Automation Anywhere. Then we will look at the key features of Automation Anywhere. Proceeding further, we will see the different components of Automation Anywhere. Followed by which, we will understand the architecture of Automation Anywhere. Further, we will see the different types of bots and look at the key benefits of Automation Anywhere. Finally, we will look at hands-on demonstration. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with the tutorial on Automation Anywhere. What is Automation Anywhere? Automation Anywhere is a well-known robotic process automation tool that enables business to automate end-to-end -end business operations. Automation Anywhere provides powerful and user-friendly RPA capabilities such as cloud-native, web-based intelligent automation solution for automating any complex task. It is a web-based management system that employs a control room to execute automated tasks. It improves the efficiency of business process and reduces the need for human labor. Features of Automation Anywhere Automation Anywhere offers an easy-to-use interface for building bots and designing business process automation workflows. It supports multiple operating systems such as Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. It consists of a recorder that works on a variety of platforms including Microsoft Windows, Citrix, Web, and SAP. It consists of different bot views for collaboration, flow view for business users, list view for developers, and dual view for collaboration. Automation Anywhere supports platforms like JavaScript, Python, and VBScript, as well as advanced variable capabilities. Another key feature is its versatile architecture that allows for the addition of new command packages. Let's look at the Automation Anywhere components. The first component is Automation Anywhere Robotic Interface, AARI. It is a user-friendly interface that allows business users to collaborate with bots. Users can initiate process automation, provide feedback to the bots in order for process to be resumed, and escalate requests to additional users for downstream processing. AARI, that is Automation Anywhere Robotic Interface, enables enterprises to unlock previously unavailable automation opportunities between humans and the bots. IQBot, an intelligent document processing solution capable of reading and processing a wide range of complex documents and emails. IQBot intelligently captures, classifies and extracts semi-structured and unstructured data using RPA and multiple AI techniques allowing document-centric business process to be automated end-to-end. -end. Bot Insight The analytics platform that delivers real-time, interactive and intelligent insights into business process and operational intelligence. Bot Insight takes the large amount of content level and productivity data generated by deployed bots and converts it into insights via automatically generated and customizable dashboards. Discovery Bot, an intelligent business solution for enterprise business that enables end users to discover automation opportunities through process discovery. Discovery Bot focuses on process automation by capturing document process identifying opportunities from business-centric process and prioritizing opportunities based on ROI and create bots automatically. Discovery Bot 
collaborates with business workers to identify automation opportunities that can maximize the return on your RPA investment. Let's look at the architecture of Automation Anywhere. Automation Anywhere platform is built using a distributed architecture. The Enterprise Control Room, a web-based platform that manages the development and execution of digital workforce, provides centralized management. Bot creators and bot runners are linked to the Enterprise Control Room. Bot creators are software development platforms for authorizing and customizing automations. Bot runners are runtime system deployed on the machine that carry out the automations. Bot runners can be installed on desktops, in data centers, or in the cloud. Let's explore the architecture in detail. Bot creators. A bot is a self-contained task that requires little to no human intervention to complete. The bot creator is a customized development client for automation anywhere that is used to create bots. Task editor, event watcher, bot player, auto login, and local scheduler are all included. The bot creator also includes the ability to create bots from a device utilizing the enterprise client application. The device is registered with the enterprise control room after the bot creator user signs in for the first time and the user can deploy bots on that device. Bot Runners A bot runner has the ability to run bots from a device utilizing the enterprise client application. The device is registered with the enterprise control room after the bot runner users log in for the first time and the user can deploy bots on that device. Bots are run by the bot runner which is a software machine. Bot runners can run bots at scale after they have been developed with bot create. Control room. The enterprise control room serves as a single point of management for all bots. Enterprise control room is placed on a server in the data center and configured to work with the other data center components. A river proxy is in charge of listening for requests for remote connections and sending them to the appropriate specialized service. Using a collection of specialized web service, the enterprise control room manages, schedules, executes, and configures various bots and bot runner capabilities. Let's look at the types of bots in Automation Anywhere. Task bot. Task bots are used for automating repetitive tasks based on the rules. These tasks are simple to create and can reliably complete multi-step procedures. Document administration, claims management, HR departments, IT, and other areas benefit from task bots. They increase production, reduce errors, and save money. Metabot Metabots are more advanced version of task bots. Metabots are automation building components that help with next generation integration scalability. These are intended for scalable, complex process. On a computer, metabots are used to automate applications, application APIs, visual captures, and integration flow can all be used to develop metabots. IQbot IQ bots are the next generation of intelligent bots. With the ability to think like humans, these bots are designed to learn on their own and carry out tasks in accordance with that learning. Users can experience the potential of automation with IQ bots, which use advanced cognitive technology and advanced artificial technologies. These bots have capabilities such as self-learning, decision-making, and subject matter expertise, among others. Data can be extracted from semi-structured and unstructured data by these bots. IQ bots also learn to recognize patterns so that the bot knows exactly what to do the next time the pattern appears. IQ bots also learn to recognize patterns so that the bot knows exactly what to do the next time the pattern appears 
with each human confirmation it learns and improves its ability to carry out the act benefits of using automation anywhere time saving an easy to use interface that allows users of varying skill levels to easily use the product and accelerate the learning process with instant web based deployment you can get started with writing bots right away business adaptability automation anywhere provides regular updates ensuring that you are always up to date on any device anywhere it provides continuity of operations with high availability and disaster recovery low cost of ownership there is no need for additional infrastructure investment it gives low cost maintenance a unified platform for front office back office and employee applications is provided let's look at the demo so let's see a demo in this demo we will create a bot which will automatically log in inside the simply learn login page so i'll show you let's go to the browser i'll go to the simply learns page so this is the simply learns login page so in this page the bot will automatically enter the email address password and it will click on the login button and it will take you inside the simply learns page so we'll create a bot so i'll show you how the bot works so i have created it let's see the output first and then we'll get started with the project so i'll click on the run button it will download all the dependencies here you can see it's entering the email address it's entering the password and it will click on the login button so this is the project this is the output so you have seen the output so let's get started we'll close this go to the go to the mail which you received from the automation anywhere and click on the control room link and you will open up here after coming here click on a create a bot so enter a name let's say we'll enter as login bot since we are creating a project to login if you want you can give the description and next click on create and edit there are three options here flow list and dual in the flow it only shows the flow chart of what activities or actions you are dragging and dropping it in the list it shows the in the form of the list all the actions and in the dual it shows the flow chart as well as the actions what actions it is performing so first we need the browser option so we'll search for the browser action so this is the browser action so the browser package contains actions that enable you to download file find broken lines and launch a website so this package basically supports internet explorer microsoft edge and google chrome browsers so the browser package includes the actions like close download file get source code find broken lines go back open run javascript now for us to open the browser to open the simply learns website we need the open option so let's click on the open double click on the open so what open does is opens the browser to a specific web page whichever web page link we provides it opens that browser so what we want to open do we want to open it in the existing tab or a new tab or a new window so in existing tab it opens the web page in the currently open tab 
so this existing tab option is only available in the google chrome browser and new tab opens the web page in a new tab like select the tab from the list of the active tabs in the google chrome browser or insert a new window variable and in the new window this opens the web page in a new window or a, of a specific browser whichever browser you choose it opens the web page in a new window so all these options are applicable in the google chrome browser so we will select the new window option and the browser okay you have these options internet explorer mozilla firefox chrome and microsoft edge so we will select google chrome and we will select the link to open so we should select the link so we'll go to the simply learns website page so this is the page we are logging in so that is why we need the link of this page so copy the link of this page and paste the link here and we need it in the new window so save it and let's run and see if this opens in the new window let's click on run okay so till now we are going right so we have entered the link and we have run the bot and the bot is opening the web page in the new window so we'll close this so after this we need the recorder package so search for the recorder package so this is the recorder package in this we have the capture action so the capture action from the recorder package is used to capture an interaction with the user interface object such as a text box button table menu radio button combo box check box list view link tree and package tab the capture action enables you to add single interaction when building your bot so let's double click on capture option so let's select dual so that we can see what action it triggers so after selecting the capture option so, so select the browser option browser window then click on this refresh windows so it will show a list of uh, so it will show the list of pages that are open in the browser so scroll down and we need learning on simply learn so this is the web page in which we are logging in so select the web page go down and let's click on capture object click on capture object so first we need to fill in the email address so you can see here it's showing a red color box so click on email address so it will capture this object of email address here you can see recording capture finalization so the object is captured scroll down and here you can see action to take on object what action should be taken on the object which we have selected so we need to enter the text that is the email address so select set text and scroll down and enter what text you want to enter there so i'll enter my email id now scroll down you can enter the time how much ever you want uh, it is recommended to enter a 9 seconds or 10 seconds but it's optional so we'll skip it for now you can see here it's the of the type user login page so we have captured the first object that is email address so we'll save it and we'll run and see if it's entering the email address 
here you can see it's open the web page in the new window and it has entered the email address so let's go back to the control room we close this your bot has run successfully so now that we have uh, entered the email address we need to enter the password so we will use another capture action in this we'll, se we'll select the same browser window then we'll select the same learning on simply learn website and we'll click on capture object but now this time we'll capture the object password select the password object and recording capture finalization so now that the object is captured we need to select the action what action should be performed so we will select set text now that we have selected text since we are entering the password the password should be credential and when the password is credential you can't enter the password here you need to pick the password you need to pick the password from the locker room so now that now that i have already created a credential and uh, entered in the locker room for me it's showing here i'll show you how to create a credential and create a locker room so we'll save it till here for now we'll save here uh, let's go to the credential section here if you go in the manage options you can see credentials so go in the credentials this is the credentials which i have already created go to the create credential options click on it so enter the credential name say i'll enter it as username enter the description if you want any and scroll down and enter the attribute name what attribute are you entering for first we will enter the email address so select email address and select the input type as standard description is optional and enter the value what is the email address so i'll enter my email address scroll down and click on the plus here to add so there are two attributes in the login page right that is the email address and password so one attribute we have entered the email address and the other attribute is the password attribute so select password and input type as standard and since we are entering the password it should be masked so that no one could see your password the password should be encrypted so enter your password here after entering the password so you have created the you have filled all the credential details click on create credential so after clicking on create credential your credential will be created so that is how you create a credential after creating the credential so since i have already created the credential i will click on cancel if you are creating if you want to create the credential enter all these details and click on the create credential so i'll click on cancel so this is once you create the credential you can see uh, like this a credential whatever you have created it will be shown here so this is how you create a credential now after creating the credential you need to go to the locker section and here you can see create a locker click on create a locker so enter the locker room whatever you want so let us enter username after entering the locker room go to the credential and select the credential whatever you have created since i have already entered the credential in the locker that is why 
it is uh, that is why this is disabled for me so when you are entering the credential in the locker room for the first time you can come inside the locker and select this option check this option and click on this so this will get this will get deposited in the locker this owners and managers section is disabled the community edition so we can't do any changes in that this will also be disabled this will also be disabled go to the consumers so enable this enable this click on the community edition user and get deposit this in the locker click on this then scroll down so this is the last then when you go back scroll up so when you finish doing all this this uh, create locker option will get enabled so when this option get enabled click on create locker and your locker will be created that's how you create a locker since i have already created a locker i did not uh, so these options are not enabled for me so yeah, this option is also not enabled when you do all these steps this option gets enabled that is how you create a locker i hope you have understood how to create a credential and how to create a locker so let's go back to the bot which we had created let's go to the automation so the bot which we had created was a login bot so we had selected the recorder op option in this recorder we had selected the action password so we need to enter the password so select here go to here click on pick and select the locker which we had created the email address select the credential that is the email address credential select the attribute attribute is the password attribute we had entered two attributes right one is the email address and the password so we are entering the password here select the password attribute and click on confirm scroll down here you can see we have picked the password if you want you can enter the time which is optional you can see it is of the type user password so that's all save it now we need a one more recorder action that is to click on the login button so we'll select for the search for the recorder select the capture option and we'll select the browser select the web page and click on the capture object so the object which we are capturing now is the login button so click on the login button here you can see recording capture finalization so the login button is being captured so what action should be taken so we need to click on the login button here you can see if you have noticed there is no option to set text why because this is a login button when we can't enter the text here so that option is not here so from this options we should select the click option to login so we'll select the click option and you can see here uh, it is of the type login button login so we have selected the login button now we'll save it so we have completed the project in the first step we have selected the browser package in browser package we have selected the open action which opens the web page the link which we have provided it opens the web page in the second we have selected from the recorder package we have selected the capture option in which we have captured the email address then we have captured the password and then we have captured to click on the login button so let's save it we have saved it so let's click on run and see
here you can see the web page has opened in the new window email address has been entered password has been entered and it is clicking on the login page and it is redirecting to the website and here you can see the login but login page has been opened so your bot has run successfully if you have any doubts and any queries or related to the demo or the automation anyway tutorial please ask in the comment section we will try to answer all your possible questions so with that we have reached the end of this video like and share it if you found it interesting thank you for being here keep learning and stay tuned to simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.